What's going on YouTube? It's James Q Quick from Learn, Build, Teach. Uh, you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, I've been sick for the last couple of days. But nonetheless, we've got a pretty cool video today. So if you can stick through the sound of my voice, uh, we're gonna walk through and create a social follow component in React. All right, so I just want to show you guys really quickly uh, what the end result of this looks like. And I'm in uh, Code Sandbox. So this is like an online editor slash working environment that uh, lets you kind of create projects pretty easily with different types of templates. So the end result here is uh, this gray, uh, this gray uh, social follow panel over here. And it's got uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram icons on here. And it's got a little subtle... A hover effect once you hover on each one so that's what we're gonna build this is something that you can reuse for your personal site or whatever kind of site you're creating for for some brand or whatever it is out there so in code sandbox if you're new to this uh, you go to code sandbox.io you can create a sandbox it will ask you what kind of sandbox you want to create in this case I'm gonna do a create react app so again look at all the different ones that they have this is really really cool and this is where i'm probably going to start uh, hosting some of the different smaller apps that i build or smaller pieces of things that i build so that you guys can come and reference them so uh do a create react app uh, application it automatically goes ahead and starts uh, starts the application running you can see the uh, live reload once i save a file should see it uh, live reload over here it's got everything already installed, so we're good to go with the React application, and we're basically ready to get started. So in my source folder, I'm going to create a new file, social follow JS. Going to import React from React. And then I'm just going to export default uh, function. So this will be a functional component, social follow. And then to start, uh, we'll just return a little piece of just dummy code here. So we'll do uh, div and inside of here, we'll have an, let's say an H3 called social follow. All right, so there's, there's kind of the stubbed out version of our component. Then in the index.js, I'm going to import the social follow from the current directory social follow. Oh, if I could get that IntelliSense to work, there we go. All right, so we've got it imported. Now I'm just gonna throw this in here inside of the index.js. Now, obviously with this social follow component, you can move this wherever you want and, not, and reuse it and blah, 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 blah. So uh, we've got it showing up here with the social follow, so that's, that's pretty cool. And what we're gonna do for the icons, notice the icons that I'm using here, these are actually font, uh, font awesome icons. So if we look up uh, font awesome react and npm, there's uh, there's a fort awesome and then react font awesome uh, set of uh, packages that we can use and that's what we're going to use here. And this is going to use uh, font awesome five and it's going to give you components that you can use to get those SVG images out of font awesome into your application. So it took a little bit of uh, kind of walking through and kind of stumbling around a little bit to figure out exactly how these work, but we're going to need to install the font awesome SVG core the react font awesome and then there's this third package is the free solid svg icons the uh, and it says it gets into this a little bit down here those are going to be kind of like your your like pencil icons and folder icons and stuff like that if you want the social icons that i'm using what we're going to do is use the uh, free brands svg icons so so this one down here as well as the font awesome svg core and react font awesome are the three packages that we need to add now, typically, you would do an npm install, and then those package names that would work well uh, if you're if you're working in your own environment inside of uh, Code Sandbox, which is actually pretty cool. I can just search in here uh, after clicking Add Dependency, so I can start with Font Awesome SVG Core. So there it is, Fort Awesome Font Awesome SVG Core. So we'll do that one, and as I do that, you'll see a little reload over here saying it's uh, going ahead and adding those dependencies. Then the next one we'll add is the free brands SVG icons. All right, again by four awesome, bring that one in. And the last one that we're gonna do is the React font, React font awesome package by uh, Fort Awesome as well. So let's go ahead and bring those in. Now just remember when you're searching for these, all of those are gonna prefix be prefixed with 
the uh, the Fort Awesome. You can see here how often these things are used and stuff like that. So now that we've got these uh, these packages included, we can go ahead and start working with them. So in our social follow component, let's import uh, font awesome icon from and I want to get this one from the react font awesome all right and then I want to import the different icons that I'm going to use so this is going to be fa and actually just I think let's see if it'll give us IntelliSense here if we start with the ending first so this, we're going to import from the fort awesome uh, brands icons and then maybe if I type in here now fa YouTube yeah we'll get the IntelliSense so fa YouTube fa Facebook FA Twitter, uh, Twitter, and FA Instagram. And that's all we're going to do for now. If you guys want other social icons, obviously go ahead and add those yourselves. It won't be that hard after we do kind of the first couple together. So uh, just say that. It's going to give me a little warning saying I haven't actually used one of those things. That's okay. I'm going to uh, first add a class name to our, uh, I'll call it social container. And then inside of here, instead of my social follow, I'm gonna have this be uh, my handle. So I could do James Q Quick or uh, Learn, Build, Teach. So depending on which platform, I've got a couple of different uh, ways to find me. And then what we'll do is we'll create an anchor tag. So A with an href of youtube.com slash C slash James Q Quick. So that's my channel. And then we'll add a class name to this one as well. So this is gonna be uh, YouTube and social, two class names. Inside of that, we're going to actually put our font awesome icon and say the icon is going to be the FA YouTube icon. And then we'll set the size to be 2X. And then close that out there. Save and look. All right, so uh, it's starting out as this purple color. We'll fix that in a second, okay? So that looks pretty good. Then uh, we're gonna do the same process for uh, whatever other social platforms you have. So might have the Facebook and this will have a class of Facebook. The reason I'm doing classes for these is because I'm gonna add a specific color to it in the end to get rid of this uh, just regular purple that's showing up here. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, on facebook.com there is a slash learn, build, teach. There's a learn, build, teach Facebook group that you guys can go out and join. Then there's also a learn, build, teach Instagram. So this will be instagram.com. All right, so there's the Instagram. And then I've also got a Twitter account, but it's just my personal Twitter. So this is gonna be James Q Quick. Don't have a, an account yet for learn, build, teach but this will be the Twitter one and I forgot to update these classes. So this will be Instagram and Twitter. And then this bottom icon will be the FA Twitter as well. So let's save that, see what we got. All right, so we've got these uh, relatively, uh, well, I guess they're good looking individual icons, but together, obviously they don't look that good. And then the learn, build, teach thing up here doesn't look that great with it. So we're gonna give some styling and inside of the styles, uh, CSS. I'm just going to create um, just kind of a section here that's called social follow stuff. Doesn't have to be too fancy. And I'm going to start with uh, uh, styling that social container. And I'm just going to create a background of a light color. So let's do EEE -E -E and see if that picks up. See that color there. And then we'll just give some padding. So padding 25 pixels and 50 pixels. So 50 on the left and right and 25 top and bottom give it a little bit of spacing there that looks a little bit better and then we'll do an anchor tag with a class of social we'll say uh, margin is going to be zero and one rem this will space them out a little bit there we go so that looks a little bit better and we're going to do a uh, transition on this one so we're going to say transform wanted or excuse me transform to take place over 250 milliseconds and what we're going to do is on hover, so a social hover, we're going to transform and translate y negative two pixels. So send it up two pixels. And this is not going to work uh, just yet by default. And this is kind of something I went through learning in preparation for this video is for uh, for inline elements, you cannot uh, do a translate. So for inline elements, 
if you want to do a translate, you might have to set the display to inline block. And now we should see a little hover effect here. See that pop up a little bit. And then I've got the colors for these. So I'm just going to copy these in for right now. So here's the, here's the YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter colors. Those I just went out and got myself. And then the Instagram, it's a little bit more complicated because Instagram is the actual Instagram icon. Let's look it up is multicolored all around the edges. So I just figured it'd be easier to do black. And that's what I've done on my personal website. So that one just has black, but then Facebook and YouTube and Twitter have all the right colors. Now there's obviously uh, tons of different kinds of styling you could do. You could make this thing pop out a little bit if we wanted to give this a class of social title maybe. And we could style that a little bit, uh, maybe font size, bump it up to 32 pixels. And then font weight we can take to be regular maybe. And maybe we can do font style italic, make it a little bit different. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do and probably a color of maybe a dark gray something like that so it's not completely black so that looks a little bit better i think but obviously you guys can play around and kind of style this exactly how you want but uh, the cool thing is here with the with the different packages that we included from font awesome we're able to bring in those svg icons for youtube facebook twitter instagram and other social platforms able to bring those things in as react components and then use them uh, right like this as is and then we can change the size if we wanted to be 2x or 1x or so on and so on. So we're able to uh, put all this stuff together inside of React to create a pretty uh, pretty quick and easy uh, social follow component that you guys can take and put anywhere in your React applications. So if you guys made it through the entire video, I wanna say thank you. Thanks for uh, kind of putting up with my voice. Hopefully I'll be better for the uh, video next week. Thanks again for checking this out. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Look forward for more stuff coming out on React in the near future. So I'll talk to you guys or see you or hear from you or maybe you'll hear from me in the next video. See ya. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out learnbuildteach.com to sign up for the newsletter to learn about my latest content. Thanks for watching.